Om Shanti and welcome to 26th of May, your Godly Blessing, your Blessings channel and here we are going to talk about the highest seat to be seated on so as to have a victory over Maya. Maya means all the negative impure qualities which are there within us and we need to be victorious over them. So let's see what does Baba have to say, how does he guide us to have a victory over Maya. God says, may you be a conqueror of Maya and a great soul. Maya over here, for those who are listening for the first time, is lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, jealousy, hatred, or any kind of negativity within us. So may you be a conqueror of Maya and a great soul who remains constantly stable on the elevated seat of your highest stage. So we use affirmations, very pure and powerful affirmations in Brahma Kumaris where for example, an affirmation like, I am a pure being or a pure soul, the child of the purest being in the whole universe, that is the Supreme Creator, the Supreme Godfather. So I am the child of the ocean of purity. I am the child of the ocean of peace. I am as powerful as my Creator and nothing can affect me. So when we use these affirmations, automatically our stage is on a higher stage. And any situation, any person with any kind of intention who comes in front of you, you'll be able to have a victory over anger, ego, jealousy, hatred, which can come within us when we are facing people with negative traits. So we don't let those negativities rise within us when we are facing those situations or those people. So God here says those who are great souls constantly stay in a high state. That means they are always in an elevated affirmation stage. Their highest stage is their highest seat. So they don't get entangled into little things. They don't get bothered by little things. They know that the best is going to happen when they are in the highest feeling of that stage. That means they are completely rid of anger, rid of any competition, rid of any kind of any any kind of. Uh, comparison so they're content within themselves so any soul who tries to bring discontentment in their life they won't be affected by them so when you stay on the seat of your highest stage maya cannot come to you that means lust anger greed ego attachment all these thoughts cannot arise within us she will consider you that means maya will consider you to be great and bow down to you she will not attack you, but will accept her defeat. It is when you come down from your highest seat, that means once we are not using meditation or we are not using affirmations on a daily basis and we are feeling a little low because we have not charged ourselves, we have not rebooted ourselves, our mind, that's the time maya or negative thoughts, they come back to us. That maya then attacks you. When you constantly stay on your highest seat, Maya will not have the strength to come to you. She cannot climb up there. That means those impure negative low thoughts or low frequency, low vibration thoughts cannot come up to your high frequency thoughts because you're in a higher frequency at that time. Now, how do we retain and sustain and maintain that high frequency thought is what we learn in the meditation process in Brahma Kumaris along with the knowledge which we take. Both of them are important with this Om Shanti.